it was just announced today that Smogin is going to be testing Deoxys D for suspect to see if it should go Uber or not. So, what are your thoughts and opinions on that? Me personally, I do know that hyper offense is a major threat, and everyone knows it that's actually good, but a lot of people don't exactly realize it because they think, oh, we'll just quick kill Deoxys D and spin away the hazards, but it's still hyper offense is a threat in this meta. It's always been a threat in any meta. So, I mean, that's why it's always gone, but it just takes a while for it to really sink in and for the good players to really grasp it, because there are usually better things for a bit, but it, it it's there, it's a prevalent threat, it's just, I don't know, people tend to toss this out a lot. But anyways, hey guys, well, we got a match here today against Super Yoshi the First or something like that. Uh, it's no you match using my Volt Turning team, because I wanted to. And speaking of Hyper Offense, he's basically on a Hyper Offense team too with the Deoxys D. So, I mean, that's pretty ironic that I chose to talk about that in today's video. And I didn't even think about it until now, but, um, yeah, he's got a Hyper Offensive team. But the thing is, he doesn't have a Ghost type in Gengar to block the hazards. Like, otherwise, it's basically just a standard Hyper Offensive team. So, I don't know, whatever. But, uh, that's on his end. Uh, mainly the main things I'm worrying about are his dragon types, both the Latios and the Hydreigon, because I don't know what kind either of them will be, and both of them, depending on the sets, could potentially run through my team, so I just gotta make sure I find out what they are doing first, and then deal with them, because the only thing I have doubt speed Latios is Celebi, so I mean, that's gonna be a little bit annoying, so I do also gotta preserve T-Tar for that, so... You know, those are the main things, otherwise I shouldn't worry too much about his team, but leads on his end, I was hoping he would just go with Deoxys, so I go with Titar, but he does go with Scizor, I at least get my Sandstorm up right now, so I mean, that's at least something, but I figure here, he's just gonna go for U-Turn anyways, but I don't want my Tyranitar taking extra damage, because like I said, I do need that thing to potentially take on that Latios, so I'm just gonna go straight into Landers, he actually goes straight for Superpower, I guess he really just didn't want Titar around, which is understandable, because Titar does threaten his team a bit, so... I mean, it was a good, pl an okay play, but it just, it really wasn't the smartest play ever, but I just go for Rocks there because I just want to get him up, but he's going to go into Rotom as I do that, and I see he has no leftovers, so I'm just going to go into Celebi. He does predict that and goes for HP Fire or Ice, I'm not sure yet, I'm probably, I'm assuming Ice, because otherwise might not be a point to go for it on Landers, but, uh, you know, he still hits my Celebi. I should have gotten to Rotom, but I was like, eh, I don't know. But here I decide, okay, well, I'm just getting you turned out from the road, I'm going to Ape, because, yeah, he went to Hydreigon, and I'm like, okay, well, we'll see what kind of Hydreigon is, maybe bait that I'm scarfed, and it looks like he's just leftovers anyway, so that does force him to switch out, he goes into Deoxys on my U-turn, so that is just perfect, because I've hegged that thing with a really strong hit, lowers its survivability by a fuck ton, and removes it kind of as a threat, but... I'm getting going to T-Tar just to trap it. He decides, alright, well, let's just get rocks up. So he gets rocks up, and then I just pursuit trap him. And it is enough to take him out, so whatever. But now he's getting going to Tracheon. Cannot stay in there, so I'm going to go to Landers, which is, you know, my Tracheon check dash counter. But uh, he's just going to go straight for subs, so he is a sub SD set. But I know I can take a plus one hit, so I can break a sub right here, and then uh, finish him off with another Earthquake, as he probably will try to Stone Edge me, which will not be able to take me out, because... Uh, Intimidate plus Landorus has pretty okay defense. Plus, I mean, Landorus is the established Drakion check, but he's gonna go for Stone Edge. Does actually a bit more than I expected, but luckily I am able to take it, and I do take him out with the Earthquake. Crit did not matter, so whatevs. <laughs> then now he's gonna go to Landorus. I, er, not Landorus, Rotom. I just sack my Landorus to see what he wants to do, and he do, just goes straight for Hydro Pump, and then, yeah, I kind of die, obviously. But now I'm gonna go to Rotom because I figure, okay. Maybe this will scare him out, so maybe he'll go into Latios, because if he goes into Latios, that'd be perfect, because I go for Thunder Wave, thinking, okay, Latios will hopefully come in, so I can Thunder Wave that, and then it'll no longer be a threat. But he goes into Hydreigon instead, and it's like, fuck, well, I mean, it wasn't, it's still kind of a threat, but it wasn't the hugest threat it could have been, so it's like, oh, fuck, I really want to get Latios, but I guess I'll settle with Hydreigon. But I figure here, he's probably just going to want to hit Rotom, so I'm just going to go out to Tyranitar, to take whatever he does. He gets paralyzed there. He said he went for Focus Blast, but, you know, he could just be saying that so that I feel bad, but, you know, I doubt he'll really lie, but I don't know. I, he got paralyzed, so my Tyranitar lives, which is actually really huge, as you'll potentially see later, but he goes into his Rotom here. I do not want Tyranitar to take a hit, because, like I said, still need it for that Latios, which is why it'll probably matter, but, uh, I'm getting going to Rotom, because I figured that'd be my best thing to take a Hydro Pump, because Celebi's really low in health right now, so I can't really rely on that the best to take on a opposing Rotom, but I'm just gonna go for Volt Switch and, uh, you know, get a free switch out to Celebi, so I figure here, after the Sandstorm damage, U-Turn should be able to take him out, I mean, that still does leave me with two Pokemon that are really low on health, but they're two Pokemon I don't need as much as I would think, so I'm just gonna U-Turn out, go into Rotom, 
and let that die from rocks. Which, I mean, the only thing I would have really needed it for is Scizor, so it's not the hugest deal in the world. But I'm going to go back into Celebi just to see what he does. He does go into Scizor. I was hoping he can go into Latios and get some extra damage off, but that's not the case. And just take me out with Bullet Punch as that 1 HP, so, you know, it's easily going to take me out. But now I can go to Magnezone. He is most likely banded, so I'm just going to be able to trap him and finish him off with a Thunderbolt. So that is pretty phantasmable. Er, that's not even the right way to say that word, but whatever. <laughs> But now he's going to go into Latios, I'm just going to fire off a Thunderbolt, just kind <clears> of <throat> leaving Magnezone to die. But Thunderbolt actually does a pretty decent amount, and I get to Paralyze, which is completely just hilarious, because it really didn't matter in the end. Because like I said, I still have Tyranitar, he wouldn't be able to take me out unless he got a crit, but the Paralyze was still funny, so it just meant I ended the game as a 3-0 instead of a 2-0, so yeah, that is the match. The game, Super Yoshi, I don't know, whatever. But, yeah, I have no idea what else to say here, so I'm not going to say anything else except for hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah, recommend, sub, and later, guys.